Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Oh my god, have I got an exciting thing to check out now, because the Injustice 2 Fighter Pack 2 has been announced, and I've already had it spoiled the fuck out for me, because I had to, I went and looked it up on YouTube and immediately saw what it was, but um, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, I don't know if you've noticed on your screen yet, but I'm going to just play this and you'll get an idea of what the hell's going on. Oh god damn! So yes, the way the fighter pack uh, was being teased and shown previously, it's showing the characters from the first fighter pack, uh, Starfire, uh, Red Hood, and Sub-Zero, all beaten up. Obviously, Electricity hitting Sub-Zero, and we've got Raiden. We, so we've got two MK fighters, and he's looking badass, actually. That's pretty cool. And we've got Black Manta, which, uh, whenever they showed the silhouettes, we could tell with Black Manta was a really easiest tell, because of the shape of the head. Like, if it was anybody else, it would be surprising. So that was the two people that we knew about, but this one, I only found him out of there saying, go, holy shit, Hellboy is in Injustice 2! Oh man, it makes so much sense though! Because um, after Aliens and Predator, it's who else is the dark. A whole lot more interesting. Oh. After, after the main two guys of uh, Alien and Predator, after uh, after Alien and Predator, who are the, like, the, the most mainstay Dark Knight or Dark Horse character? Uh, there we go. So. Uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go back and look over this for an hour second, but the um, Hellboy being advertised, uh, being uh, for the, he's probably gonna be the last character we'll get out of the pack, so obviously the way they'll probably work it is there'll be a DC character, Black Manta, then they'll do our our uh, Mortal Kombat reference, and then we'll have the our, our glorious red demon, uh, Hellboy himself, actually showing up, and that's cool as hell. The design for... Uh, Hellboy obviously looks like his uh, the Mike Mignola artwork, so he kind of feels a little bit in Congress in his shape and design. But for monsters in this world, it doesn't matter. I, I think it fits fit, fit perfectly fine for Injustice. But the main thing is that they've gone the they've gone the the dark horse well again, which is cool because that makes sense so much that we could really have something else if we're going to keep with Dark Horse comics. Who else is in Dark Horse Comics? Who else do we actually know have license and have a very long history of doing character versions? The fucking Terminator, Robocop, uh, Judge Dredd, thus then Judge Death and many other characters besides. The entire 2000 AD franchise world is, oh, well not specifically the Mega City franchise world is all in the Dark Horse Comics spectrum as well because we've had, we've had so many books by Dark Horse for those characters. So if they if they keep on this path, if they keep on this methodology, then I'm fucking unbelievably excited to actually continue on like seeing more and more packs come out because every once in a while we're going to see one of these motherfuckers show up. I, I can't even imagine what Hellboy actually plays like. I, I'm going to rewind back here because I just want to take another look at the reveal for him. So and it's, like that's the thing, man. This is such a big deal to me. I'm completely skipping over the fact that. Raiden and Black Manta are in Injustice 2 now. I mean, just giving a better look at Raiden. I mean, character design wise, he's got he's a bit more Shinocky than I imagined. But I remember at the end of the last Mortal Kombat, Raiden wasn't that good of a person either. I don't think he was actually to be considered a, a good guy. So maybe this is uh this is our Superman. Uh, Injustice World version of Raiden where things have gone horribly awry. Maybe the MK10 Raiden at the end of the game. Um, which, by the way, sorry, spoilers, maybe, for people who haven't played MK10 or the story mode specifically in it. And of course, like I said, Black Manta looking as threatening as Black Manta probably ever can look in any way, shape, or form because of the giant bug head. Which reminds me, is, is it kind of like the, um, the Nemo ship? The front head of it, the Nautilus. Is that what the design is kind of based around in the comic books? I'm not too sure, but that like just I, big bad Beetleborg himself looks absolutely fine. Um, of course, he's going to be more of a badass with all that shit popping out of his shoulders. Um, lightning for Raiden, him with his missiles and as many harpoon guns and whatever else. And then the daddy, the man himself, the glory, the myth, the legend, <laughs> the head of RPD. I don't know, is it RPD? No, it's not RPD. That'd be Raccoon Police Department. Uh, R R I P D R P I D. I can't remember. 
Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised. He's, I, I always thought it was cigars, but I mean, that could be just, that would have maybe been a movie embellishment where he smokes cigars rather than cigarettes. But, um, yeah, Hellboy looks good, man. That, that's a, that's a cool design. It's simple. And I'm wondering what are they, what kind of a gear and shit are they going to give Hellboy? Are they going to, is it going to affect his fist? Is it going to be what he wears over the top? The gearing system in Injustice 2 gives us an interesting possibility of what they can do with Hellboy's look uh, based off of uh, this this ba this blank palette that we have right here to work from. Thanks for the light, pal. <sighs> this just got a whole lot more interesting. Yes, it did just get a whole lot more interesting. God damn! Oh... So the fighter pack, uh, get a gameplay reveal of Black Manta on Sunday, the May 27th, but yeah, oh, Netherrealm, you guys have actually surprised the shit out of me. This is actually really, really cool. Um, I want, I haven't played Injustice 2 yet. I actually haven't bought Injustice 2. I'm one of, I'm exactly like the original Injustice. I'm waiting until the game of the year edition. I want to wait until a couple of the packs are out, but with Hellboy included, I'm excited. I would be interested to actually play that uh, sooner rather than later. But yeah, again, I'll be waiting until he gets released. But uh, God, man, you know, it's just the one. It's a missed beat for it. Like, they'll just have Lobo versus Hellboy. That would be fucking fun. It would be just even the the, the cracky kind of lines back and forth between people. I just want to see for that. Uh, like, most of them going, I'm going to send you back to hell. Like, all of that kind of stuff would have been really, really fun. But no, we kind of are going to miss out on that because of the, the change in the rosters. But uh, obviously, with um, the votes for the characters that they wanted, Spawn has always been one that people wanted to see. And a lot of people thought it was Spawn, was the third character in this one. But it, of course, be in um, Hellboy instead. But there could be more characters down the line. Uh, could be Image Comics. It could be D the rest of the DC Pantheon that we're going to be seeing. Nether Realms could be digging out one of their characters. God, could you see Goro in something like Injustice? That would be awesome. I mean, he'd be a very limited character. He'd be a big, bulky mess. But maybe that'd be one that could really work well. But um, yeah, I'm still really happy with Hellboy being announced. Uh, of course, we'll be looking into it more as they release more details. We're going, we're, they're going to be a while before they even start thinking about doing character-specific trailers for Hellboy compared to the other two. Because those guys, you could probably imagine, they're going to be measures of um, of Deadshot mixed in with uh, a little bit of the water aquatic abilities of Aquaman. While well, Raiden's going to play like Raiden from Mortal Kombat 10 with some changes. Hellboy obviously being the one who's going to have to take the most work because he's going to have the most unique style of gameplay. Which, and I've got a fear that he may just end up being kind of like Swamp Thing with a lot of like punch ground hellfire comes out kind of stuff. I'm not too sure about that, but we'll see how, it, we'll, we'll find out further down along the line. So guys, thank you very much for watching and um, if you see me gush about the Injustice 2 fighter pack, if you enjoyed watching it, make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. And if you don't do the whole subscribe thing, completely understand, it's okay, not everybody does, then just remember the name Pastiche of Skin. All you have to do is memorize the name and just, of course, throw it up online and find me because I'm not trying to hide. I'm right here. I'm here to be seen by you. So, um, yeah, last thing to remember is YouTube. There'll be a button up there for describe. Up here will be a recent playlist. Over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And here, right over where the text screen actually is, there will be a box for you based on what you watch, what you like, what you see on YouTube. It'll pick a video for you out of my own makings and you should check that one out. That'll be the one that you'll enjoy the most because it's pretty much what you already enjoy make sure to stay keep yourself and feeding into the same circle or if you want to see someone different come and look at the rest of my channel thank you very much for watching now we'll see all you dudes in the next video bye